What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Chayton Peterson and today we're going to be going over some drills that I use during practice and some drills that you should be implementing in your practice as well. So stay tuned. I'm going to be going over some demonstrations of these drills as well as explaining why these are so good to use. Let's get better today. Okay guys, this is something I've been working on for a while now and I'm really excited to bring to you guys. I'm doing a video series called 10 in the Pit because that's the ultimate goal that we're shooting here for is getting that consistent strike that we throw 10 in the Pit with. So first off, I'm gonna be starting with a drill that's really easy and it's good for beginners as well as high level players, but especially for those beginners so we can get a feel for how we're supposed to rotate the ball. So we're gonna start with a no step drill. This is video one of our video series of 10 in the pit. So what is the one step drill and why do we use it? I'm going to be going over some demonstrations here as to what it should look like, how you should line up on the lane and what it looks like when you actually roll down the ball down the lane. So I want you to pay close attention to my stance as well as the technique that I use. Stay tuned. Okay, first off, what I'm going to be doing is grabbing one of my balls and coming up to the foul line putting my left foot up to the foul line and squatting down like I had just finished the shot. Now what you're going to do is get down and you're going to hold the ball out and just swing it back and forth, right? A couple times, back and forth, get that swing in. And what we're going to do is we're just going to release the ball and get our hand in a good position. So this drill is very good for getting our hands in great position so we're rotating the ball effectively. So just swing back, forth, back, and let go. And then you'll be able to feel what correct ball should be. You know, that ended up being pretty good. We're not really looking for results here. Uh, we're mostly just trying to see what the ball looks like and how that feels while the ball is rotating down the lane. Okay, so we're going to slow this down here so that you guys can see this in a little more detail, uh, do some zooming in. So I, I take two swings, and then on the downswing of the second swing is when I release the ball. Uh, and I really focus on getting that feeling of getting my hand in the right position to rotate the ball effectively so that the fingers in that bottom left quadrant of the ball. Uh, so we'll zoom in here so you can get a good look at that, what that looks like. Really try to get your hand here. If you need to put a camera back there, do it so that you know what it feels like. We'll stop it here. Fingers are in the bottom left quadrant, and then I wrap my wrist around it so we get that motion down lane. Okay, and then what I'm doing next, this is just a bit of a side view of what we just did. Now you can see kind of how close I'm getting up to the foul line here, getting nice and squatted down. And you'll be able to kind of look at what we're attempting to do with the ball here. And we're just swinging back and forth, and then back and forth, at least how we should be. So we can really get that feeling of getting down, swinging, and, and at the release, getting our hand out of the ball correctly. Okay, so we're going to take a couple different looks. Uh, this is a side view of the no-step drill. Uh, we're going to slow this down so we can take a better look at it and see exactly what's going on, the mechanics of this. So uh, here's a couple swings, and I just want, want you to get a side view of how my wrist rotates around the ball on the side view, because you get a little bit of a different aspect here. So we're going to slow way down, and you can see how my, my elbow and my arm curl up and release. And that's what we're also trying to feel, not only getting our hand in that right spot, but getting that curl and release right there at the end. And this is a great way to look at it, a, a, lo a lot of overlooked view is the side view so this is awesome to see this is now behind slowing it way down and you can see how that wrist wraps around the ball and how we're going from in to outside of the ball still getting some forward rotation and side rotation okay welcome back guys I hope you got something out of that demonstration and really set in how it should look while you're out on the lanes now why do we use this drill well, that's because we're trying to pinpoint just the release. We don't want to have any timing issues here, have to deal with any speed, anything like that. We're just looking for how the ball should be rotating out of our hand. Now, a variation of this, you could get on your knee and do this as well. That works really well as well. You know, if you don't quite have the strength in your wrist or your arm to get that rotation on the ball yet, that's perfectly fine. You can definitely start there. But once we do get up onto our one foot, down in our stance, we're really trying to feel how it feels to rotate the ball correctly, like I had mentioned in my How to Hook a Bowling Ball video. 
This is the foundation for that. We're really gonna build in all of that. I do this too, because I need to, to refresh myself on what it should feel like, especially if I'm not getting balls out of my hand correctly. So this is definitely something that you should be implementing. Now you're gonna definitely wanna stay tuned for the rest of this video series, because I'm gonna be going over just steps further back so that we can add some timing, add some speed, until we're getting to that full five-step approach, targeting, reading ball motion, all of it. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you like this video, and please comment with any questions you have, I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for tuning in.